Well, hello there. This is Mars. This is my channel, We Gay. And uh, sitting next to me is my special guest and roommate and friend. Naba! And we're back at it with Dream Daddy. It's been way too long since we've played this. It's and been ages. I can't quite remember where we were. And I'm handing the controller to you. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Why don't we see what's... I was trying to think of a dad pun. I'm not quick enough. <laughs> uh, Shit. Uh, why don't we see how much farther we have to go? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. No, That's a good one. Bad. I know. <laughs> <clears throat> it's been a long day, and yet I'm not quite ready to sleep. Usually when I feel this way, I mainline in investigative TV. Investigative TV. Investigative? Investigative. Yeah. <laughs> Law and order. <laughs> yeah. Until I pass out. But tonight I feel like it would just make me antsy. I decide to take a relaxing stroll. Ooh. -oh. After a bit of wandering, I find myself passing by Jim and Kim's. Being of legal drinking age and sound judgment, I decide to stop in. Typically, I try to limit my consumption of alcohol to set a positive example for Amanda, but I also feel respons the responsibility to play a role as a social agent in our community and a watering hole such as Jim and Kim's is the perfect place to do it. This sounds familiar. Do you do this? Oh, no, no, no. I feel like we've done this part, maybe. Really? I don't remember this. I'm not sure. But go on. We'll also, see. Also, I desperately need a beer. Oh, I thought you were saying that I to know. me. I know you did. <laughs> I looked at you. Mm-hmm. Jim and Kim's is lively tonight. The patrons are mulling about, and even Neil seems to be having a good time. Coming here was a good idea. Huh? As I reach to collect my beer, I see Mary at the end of the bar. She's not semi-ironically throwing herself all over anyone. In fact, she's alone. I always thought she was quite earnest with her hitting on. Did you, got, you ever get the sense she was being ironic about it? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. I don't think so. She looks so sad. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. <laughs> a pang of guilt shoots through me. I'm sorry. I left it on because of the food. <laughs> That's okay. Put it between your legs. <laughs> I mean, in your Not lap. Not again! <laughs> Not this again. Not this again. <laughs> a pang of guilt shoots through me. Does she know? Is this because of me? Am I a homewrecker? Oh, because he, when last we left him, he held hands and maybe kissed. The did we kiss Joseph? Did we kiss Joseph? We had Margaritaville in the basement. I don't remember if we kissed. I feel like we didn't. This would be an excellent time to put Meredith Brooks's What Would Happen If We Kissed over the... Insert that. Hey, Editing Mars, insert it right now. What would happen if we kissed? Copyright. <laughs> yeah, they'll probably flag it. Uh, let's see. Say hi or keep watching the game. I mean, she's just sitting here staring at us. Yeah, say hi. Well, I think it's more conspicuous if we're watching football. Yeah. <laughs> we don't do that. Come on. I decide to go say hello. I walk over to her booth. She doesn't look up. Deceit taken. She still doesn't look up. I take a seat anyways, and she finally notices me. You. Okay. This was maybe not the best idea. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Ah. Having fun with your new best friend, Joseph. Hey! Uh, he's a great... I'm so glad. I'm happy for you two. Mary, I'm not. Hey. I'd never accuse you of anything uncouth, Quincy. You're just having an innocent, very platonic time with my husband. A supportive friendship. Ugh. 
You're a good friend, aren't you? Uh, uh. So sure, yep, just a friend. I'm there when he needs me, Mary. Oh, ooh! Might not have been in that tone, but that's how I see it. Um, if it were me, as I do when I am, when I meet somebody who seems very angry at me and, and possibly drunk and emotionally erratic, <clears throat> I do just sort of say, sure. <laughs> I, would I would just let her go because she she has some grievances to air, and I yeah think, I think we should just say as little as possible. Okay, do it. Okay, that's funny. Joseph actually, or Joseph usually likes his friends to at least have a have a spine. Yikes. Hey, hey! Not everyone likes to yell at their spouse's friends for no reason. So you're an expert on my marriage now. Ooh, doesn't take an expert to see that you two are miserable. Oh! I'm not trying to be an expert on your marriage. I'm sorry. Huh? I think the delivery's here. It's calling me. Oh. What? Well, one moment. Pause here. You think We're gonna on pause. this. Be right back. Yeah. Hello? Oh, thank you. Shit, Here's that up. was quick. Okay, it's fine. Okay. Mary, you hang tight. I'll be right back. We'll be right back. Come on, man. We're gonna record some more. Now you're gonna have to make up your mind. You can't keep coming in and out of here. We're trying to record. Mary. Mary. Mm. All right. In the sun. Oh. In the sun. Mm. Mary. Is he saying Mary in that? No, married, right? I don't remember. I don't know. I think it's about her. Probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we're back for more Dream Daddy. We had to uh, eat some food. Okay, <laughs> what are we going to say? This one's, this one's up to you. I picked the last one. It doesn't take an expert to see that you two are miserable. I'm not trying to be an expert on your marriage. That one? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're the controller. I'm just trying to be there for my friend, okay? Oh, you're there for him. Ew. In his butthole. Yeah. <laughs> That's the goal. I see how you look at him. I bet you're there for him a lot. She takes a long sip of her drink. Eh, this was a mistake. You know, you're really not his type. I'm surprised. Mary pays her tab and strides right out of Jim and Kim's without looking back. <laughs> Carolyn always does this. Because you're supposed to do, like, your head, your heart, and, like... And your shoulders? Your, yeah, just, like... But she does. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Tongue, crotch, nipple, nipple. <laughs> we don't. Jews don't have any fun. Like. You don't have a handshake agreement. No. Or any, you know. <laughs> I'm sure Jews have fun in their own way. We have fun. I saw I saw a yarmulke yesterday at the botanical garden. <laughs> Someone abandoned it. Just left it. Along yeah. With the. Flowers? They just left it on a, a big rock. Maybe the rock was wearing a yarmulke. Oh, maybe it belonged to the rock. Maybe that's... the rock had, has, has, is converting. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> uh, that's good. Good for the rock. Good, good for, good for the rock, Dwayne yeah. Johnson. The rock. Uh, you smell. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? Let's raise some cake. I can't get the high. What's up? Kane! The uh, catatonic youths. Oh. The... <laughs> Which one? It's like all the old guys. And then there was like the one guy with the long hair. He, he can like sing, but like the song was bad. Mm. And he kept like, they're on the beach and he kept like looking over. Nice. Raise some king! <laughs> okay, what are we doing here? <sighs> Who shall we? We've got a lot of messages here. We do have a lot of messages. Should we read one, or should we click one of the dads, or Robert? Fucking sucks. I'm over him. 
Joseph and us seem like we're having a good thing. But I'm scared. But you're scared. But maybe we should hang out with Joseph one more time anyway. See if we can get to second base. Yeah. Touch his boobs. Touch the boobs of Joseph. Touch Joseph's boobs. Yes. There. Putting the penis in happiness. <laughs> Wait a minute. There's no penis in happiness. Just the the word is in it. No, not it not the letters. Happiness, penis. Oh right. <laughs> the, <laughs> when right. you're pronouncing it. Okay, okay. Not in text form. <laughs> well, it depends how you spell it. You spell it my way. Penis is in it. <laughs> Curl is looking nice. Wait, let's go to message. Message. We're gonna get mad. I mean mad. <gasps> you know what they say about third dates. They get pretty serious. You might not have time to browse dad book for a while. Are you ready? Are we? Yeah, we're gonna fuck Joseph. Okay. Roll up our sleeves. You know, he's not really my type, but Quincy seems to like him a lot. Our cock sleeves. Yes. I always carry a pocket knife. So you can whittle. Also, if you haven't noticed, I have new glasses on. Wow! Those are nice! <laughs> I think I Thank noticed you. them at first when, when I first saw you, but now they look like they just fit your face so well. They're my... they're my face. Uh-oh. I really want to see Joseph again. But after that weird encounter with Mary... I kind of wish that encounter with Mary had gone longer. I want to know more about her. Yeah. I don't know. He's my friend, right? I should be able to hang out with him and it not be weird, right? Right? The computer pings as a message flies into my inbox. It's Joseph. Hi, Quincy! We should hang out! No, uh, like, actually hang out. No manual labor, no impromptu therapy s sessions with sad DJs, no kids, just you, me, and the open ocean. Wait, how are we gonna get on the open ocean? How are we gonna get on the open ocean, you might ask? Good question. Whoa. God question. Pres prescient. If you're interested, I'll meet you down by the marina and you can check out the goods. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I mean my yacht. Let me know. Joseph owns a yacht? Joseph owns a yacht? Amanda, I almost forgot about you. <laughs> I'm as surprised as you are. What, is she reading over my shoulder? Yeah. You've been holding out on me. Your only daughter, whom you love. What, did you think that having me as a father would somehow afford you the fringe benefit of getting to go on a yacht? Hmm? What else did it get me? An <laughs> unhealthy upbringing in a supportive environment. I'm literally paying for your college. Not a dog, that's for sure. <laughs> First one. Okay. Yeah, okay, but what if I had that exact up... Same upbringing in a healthy environment, but also I could go on a yacht sometimes. Relax, kiddo. Joseph's inviting me onto his yacht. It's going to be a yacht of fun. Ugh. Dad, I'm glad you're excited, but that doesn't mean you get to start throwing out puns. Why yacht, Amanda? <laughs> this is definitely mal jokes here. <laughs> hmm. Well, I gotta go get ready to go on my friend's yacht. I start to walk away, but Amanda stops me. Huh. Hey, in all seriousness, I hope you have fun. But, make good choices, okay? But, Dad! Hmm? Don't stay out too late, or you can't go to Jennifer Longforth's birthday party this weekend. She promised me she would propose to me, but ended up going with Logan Crutchfield. I'm not going anywhere near that party. Good bit, Dad. Good bit. I respond back to Joseph, letting him know I'll be there. Ooh, we're going on a yacht. Yeah, 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 Everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Name of the episode. Yeah, it's good. A quaint marina, complete with local mom-and-pop shops and a small diner, frame the bay. 
I've gone for a few walks by the bayside to stare enviously at all the nice boats before. Joseph should be around here somewhere. <laughs> Gorsh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I was doing, Sean Connery, maybe. Sean Connery. Gosh, this is fancy. I feel a little out of place. Hey, Quincy! Joseph, where are you? Up here! I look up. Joseph waves to me from atop a huge yacht. I've never been on a yacht before. You never forget your first. I glance at the name on the side of the boat. The St. Peter, huh? Inherited this thing from my pops. Real fire and brimstone type. Loved yachts. So what's the plan, Captain? I figured since last time went a bit sideways, we could cast out we could cast our lot out on the open sea, wrestle with Neptune, set sail on the seas of adventure. Bow, chicka, bow, wow. Neptune. You're kind of a goofball when you're not wrangling your kids, you know that? Joseph smiles and winks from his perch. I have hey. no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Joseph hops down and extends a hand to me, helping me up onto the yacht. And I do like this. Yeah, and then... Whoop. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thrown off oh. by how soft his hands are. Does he moisturize or what? Maybe just recently. <laughs> hey! Quincy, stop thinking about his hands. Start thinking about his penis. Yeah. <laughs> Pure thoughts. You're gonna be on a boat alone with Joseph on the open ocean. It's a yacht. He's married. It's fine. This is fine. Totally. After undoing the mooring and climbing into his captain's seat, Joseph slowly takes the boat out, ringing the big steel bell with em extra emphasis, even though nobody else seems to be around. Oh. Shoving off. Boat launching. Man and boat launching as one. The St. Peter navigates out of the marina and into the open water, with Joseph doing the occasional steering to flourish as the boat bobs along with the waves. Mm. He seems a lot more relaxed out here. Joseph is definitely in his element. Oh. This is the part where we wrestle Neptune, so please remove your shirt and roll in some talcum powder. What? <laughs> like wrestling? And this is pink, right? I think so, yeah. This is, yeah, it's pink. Or is that just the color of... Oh, I thought it was just like the sun setting on it, but you're right, it is. It looks pink. It yeah. could be pink. I didn't bring any talcum powder. Luckily I brought my Neptuning fork. Can do. <laughs> Can do. Oh, Kirk Douglas! Oh, Kirk Douglas, he said! Oh, Kirk Douglas! I dramatically pull off my shirt. My dad bod illuminated in the reflection of Maple Bay's rippling water. I am strong. Hey! Oh, eggplants! Egg nice, not bad. We might have to tag team. Yeah, right. T Neptune together. Yeah, do it. Ooh, there's an app for that. Tag I'm team. <laughs> I'm suddenly worried that I haven't applied a strong enough SPF sunscreen, and I might get a sunburn. I put my shirt back on. That is like me. <laughs> for a while, we watch as the trees and waves pass us by. Where are we going? Oh. A little further out. It's a lot quieter once we get out on, on open water. Oh. Plus, we could see whales. Whales are cool. I don't trust whales. Nothing should be that big. Uh. Noted. Joseph maneuvers the boat past some buoys. He sighs. Mm. Wish I could get out more often, but you know. Family, wife, saving souls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So many souls. I can barely hold them all. I watched Joseph work the boat. Despite his age, he doesn't look like he's slowed down at all. And from here, I can see how toned his muscles are. Uh -huh. <laughs> Impure thoughts. Uh -huh. Joseph and I boat in silence as the bay gets smaller and smaller behind us. I decide to take a peek over the edge of the ship. The wake this thing kicks off is intense. I wonder if Joseph would ever let me water ski off his yacht. <laughs> hey, dolphins. Joseph, there are dolphins. <laughs> so you're scared of whales, but not dolphins? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like there's an unspoken truce between man and dolphin. That is not true. <laughs> I would be more than comfortable riding a dolphin into battle. I would not recommend that. Quincy. Echo, they echo. They drown people. Hmm. Dolphins are way more dangerous. They sometimes drown their babies for fun, you know. I didn't know that. 
I mean, I didn't know that either, but... <laughs> Sometimes they save people, too, though. I've read... I've read things. That's what I've heard. Yeah. On my favorite murder. Oh. <laughs> Can I trust nothing on the open ocean? Giant squids. Mm -mm. I like to think that I'm pretty cool. Alright, Joseph. It's you and me versus the entirety of marine life. Oh. I yell out to the ocean. I'm gay! Oh. <laughs> You're all spineless invertebrates. I had lobster last week and I can't eat to eat more of you. My life goal is to punch as many fish as I can before I die. That's you. <laughs> ah! I would never say that! I know. I know. You are vegan, but you are afraid of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think this one's funny because it's a pun. Right? Hey. Does an invertebrate mean that, they're, that they don't have spines? Mm-hmm. So that's kind of funny. Yeah. This. Mm, yeah. Hopefully he likes that. He likes puns, right? Yeah, they're dads. Yeah. You're all spineless invertebrates. Oh, hearty, heart, heart. <laughs> you tell him, Quincy. <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> Quincy, welcome to the ocean. Ooh, that's so calming. I look out into the vast expanse of blueness. Yep, that's the ocean. I'm suddenly struck with an overwhelming sense of claustrophobia, despite being in a wide open space. I am on a boat with a handsome man, a handsome married man. And there are whales beneath us. Nothing should be that big. Mm. It's a little daunting, isn't it? Do you trust the whales? Uh. You know, there are more dangerous things in the ocean than whales, right? Hey. Like tuna? The tuna is an apex predator. Love that game. Apex predator? No, <laughs> apex legends. <laughs> what? Uh, it, it's a... Is it about tuna? No, it's just a game I've been playing. It's called Apex. <laughs> what about sharks? Uh. Sharks are tight. Hmm. It's the tuna you gotta watch out for. Piranhas, I mean... They're not in the ocean, I guess. And the whales. Whale. Hey, want to look out wistfully over the sea with me? Like on the Titanic? <laughs> yes. Joseph and I head to the bow of the ship to do some quiet contemplation. You know, I... <laughs> Shh. Quiet contemplation. Oh. I'm alone with my thoughts. Cool. Oh. I look out to the sea for a bit, then over to Joseph. He looks so commanding as he surveys the ocean. It feels like he really is at home on the water. What Mary said to me at the bar, I can't stop thinking about it. Is she right? But she's terrible to him. He's unhappy. He deserves better. I don't know what to think about this, but I just feel so drawn to Joseph. I should say something. So, uh, about Mary. Joseph continues to stare off into the distance. It's, um... Mm. Well, if you really want to know... I do. Norm Macdonald! He, he said Norm, Norm, McDonald. Norm McDonald, yeah. <laughs> Suddenly I hear a sputter coming from the engine room. Joseph runs over to the boat's controls and taps on some dials. I guess we can talk about Mary later. Oh, okay, so... <laughs> we might have a small problem. Uh what small problem? Ugh. We are out of gas. <laughs> The whales are gonna get us. The whales siphoned our gas. Shit. It's okay. I can just call one of my boat buddies to come tow us back in. Joseph pulls out his phone. Yeah. Just kidding. I can't do that because there's no service. Oh, no. I check my phone. I don't have service either. Oh. Should we just submit ourselves to the whales? Well, I do have an old radio in the office, but it's broken. Are you handy with tools? Hmm. <laughs> I am a dad. If the radio is anything like frantically putting together a bike on Christmas Eve, it should be no problem. <laughs> Let's take a look at it and see what we can figure out. Joseph directs me towards the radio and showcases its insides. Hmm. I don't know how radios work. I think there's just some frayed wires in here. If we can reattach them, we should have a working radio in no time. Joseph, why didn't you fill the boat with gas? <laughs> he did this on purpose. We stare into the interior of the radio. I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking at. I don't think Joseph knows either. 
Er, uh, you know what? Let's just throw some stuff around in there and see what works. <laughs> oh man. Here you go. What do I do? I pick stuff up and just put it in? Alright. I guess so. Alright. Let's try this. <laughs> that not. Is it? Um, I think this maybe goes here. Over here? Like in one of these little thingies. You just drop it over it? Or like that? Oops. Uh, well, this is the bottom part of it. Oh, I see. Ah. <laughs> ah. Come on. Shit. Okay. Wait. Alright. Come on. Oh my god. Okay. Ah! You fuckers! There we go. Okay, so where should I put this? Uh, uh, maybe try there or something? There. Like that. Hmm. <clears throat> uh... Huh. I'm just trying to... Okay. Maybe, uh, screw? <laughs> you got a screw and a nickel. What? That did something? <laughs> what? Hey, it works, kinda. Why did a screw do that? Was there a condom there? Not sure. There was a condom there. That was a condom? I think so. The radio springs to life. Whoa, we did it. Oh. Joseph speaks into the receiver. Oh. Hello? Hello? Can anyone hear me? He tries a few other channels. Nobody responds. Hmm. We might be a little far out. I don't think there's anyone in range. Oh no. How big's the range? Well, this radio came with a boat when my dad bought it in the 60s, so not great. Ooh. Does Dream Daddy end with you just like dying at sea? <laughs> that might be how this ending goes. <laughs> That's reassuring. Now what? <laughs> There's worse places to be struck on than a be, be stuck on than a yacht. Wine. All right. Wine uh, period. Wine period. All caps. Wine. Two exclamations. All right. Which one shall we do? I feel like three. Wine. I keep a couple emergency bottles below deck. <laughs> Want to go grab some while I fiddle with this radio some more? Oh, yeah. Go ahead and fiddle all you want. Ooh, let's see. Wine, wine. It's got to be around here somewhere. Examine lounge, examine shelf, examine cabinet. Head back up to Joseph. Uh, I would say Cab probably in a cabinet? Probably. That's what I would say. It's a sturdy cabinet, a little dusty, but I bet that there are some treasures in there. <laughs> Fire extinguisher, flashlights, drawer. Or focus on the rest of the room. <laughs> drawer? Hey, it's wine! A whole drawer thrill of wine! It's a Yacht Club miracle! We found it! Twilight Rouge, huh? Come oh! to Daddy! Name of the episode. Now I just need to find some glasses. It's a sturdy cabinet, a little dusty, but I bet there are some treasures in there. Um, hmm. I think probably the rest of the room, right? Sure. Alright, so we already did cabinet. Shelf, maybe? I take a look at everything on the shelf. Hmm. Oh, none of that are glasses. Alright. Lounge it is. For an old yacht, this lounge is pretty high class. Wood panels on everything. Leather couches. It's like an old Playboy photo shoot in here. <laughs> Examine bed, floor, side table. Focus on the rest of the room. Side table, I guess. Yeah, side table. Ah, here are some wine glasses. Aha! Uh -huh. These are the perfect vessels for Twilight Rouge. Finally, time to get back to Joseph. Alright. 
Uh oh. Oh. I back up to Joseph. Sure. Unless you want to look at something else. I kind of want to look at his bed. <laughs> All right. How do? We... Uh. Go to examine lounge. Oh. Wait. Oh yeah, examine bed. Oh, a California king, swanky. It's unmade and a little messy. It's less swanky. Okay. I back up. Yeah. Found the wine. I bring the wine and the glasses up to the deck to find Joseph still hunched over the radio. Oh. Quincy, wine. Good to see you two. Just in time for the sunset. I didn't take you for a drinker. <laughs> Haven't you heard? I'm a cool minister. How cool? Oh. I can land half of my kickflips. What is that, like four? Eh. Five on a good day. Pour me. Regular pour, power pour. Oh. We are stuck on a yacht and probably going to die. Power pour. Power pour. <laughs> oh, oh, eggplant! <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, okay. Time to party. We clink our glasses and drink up. <laughs> the wine's not bad. There's a hint of... Am I tasting grapes? <laughs> you have a discerning palate. It might be grapes. Joseph and I lounge on the deck with our yacht wine, taking in the ocean air. The sun starts to dip below the horizon. We could be stranded out here forever. Hmm. I can't think of anyone else I'd want to be stranded with. It's just you, me, and... Yeah. All those whales. So many whales. You're killing the vibe. Ooh. Revive the vibe, Ooh. Quincy. Generally, it takes three days and a gigantic stone door rolled in front of a tomb. But I think we can save it. Uh, revive the vibe. This view, though, I bet we'll have a whale of a time. What's it like owning a yacht? Yikes. Should we punt it again? What yeah, do we do? Yeah, you want to punt it? Oh. Back to whales, huh? Oh, yeah, oh, Mike. That was me. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm That's sorry. okay. <laughs> it's okay. I don't care. You do, Quincy, now. Okay. I'm trying to alleviate any fear of whales by making jokes about them because I don't have any healthier coping mechanisms. Oh. Cheers to that. This view, though, what's it like owning an, an, a nyat? This view, probably? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's something a lot prettier right in front of me. Sweet, full-bodied. Ah! It's uh -oh, all happening! Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. God damn. Joseph, I... Uh. This wine, so good. God damn! I go to take another sip of wine, but stop myself. Is wine an acceptable beverage in Margarita Zone? Oh. That is, Quincy. That it is, Quincy. All beverages of le leisure or leisure are welcome in the Margarita Zone. This is almost what we wanted, right? Oh. No responsibilities, no worries, other than possibly dying out here. Yeah, why are you guys not more worried about that? <laughs> I know. Uh, and the whales. <laughs> but yeah, I say we're in the zone. Joseph and I clink our wine glasses again. To the margarita zone. Wink. 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 Wasted away again. Wasted away, away margarita veil. <laughs> <laughs> If you have any salt shakers, we can arrange them into a pentagram to summon Jiffy, Jimmy Buffett. Maybe he can save us. Oh. Yeah. As a youth minister, I make pacts with neither the devil nor island jammers. If we're if we're to get off this boat, it will be by the grace of God. Oh. Or Steely Dan. <laughs> <laughs> ha! Amen. Oh. Our laughter dies down. We're both silent for a moment, looking into each other's eyes. Joseph leans in closer. I feel myself doing the save. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. No, it's not. No, it's not. I can't help but feel like doing this will only end up hurting someone else. Dot, 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 dot. But his face is real close to my face. Yeah. Quincy, I have to tell you something. Hmm. Spit it out already. Mary and I are done. Ooh. I pull back. I think about this clothes strewn around the lounge, the undone bed. He's been living on the boat. Oh! Are you living on this boat? I, I didn't want to mention it, but... He sighs, strolling back to the controls of the boat. I lean on the console next to him. Hmm. 
We had a very long talk, and it's unsalvageable. I'm staying here until everything's sorted out. Oh, I'm so sorry. If there's anything I can do. Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine, actually. It was a long time coming. Hmm. For the first time in a long time, I'm seeing a path to happiness. See? Putting the penis in happiness. Do you see it now? <laughs> and now I can focus on myself and stop trying to deny the things that make me happy. Yeah. I need someone who will be there. Someone kind and honest. And you deserve that, Joseph. You really do. Anyway, I've been having this crazy feeling there's someone who I could get in the habit of having around. Someone very close to here. He's gonna say Craig. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that. Is it Wales? Hmm. I mean, you. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Although I don't know if it's the best idea to like jump out of your marriage into a serious thing, you know? Uh-huh. But... Oh. Oh. I was trying to be subtle. Picking up, I'm picking up what Joseph's putting down. I lean forward, closing the gap between us when... Yeah. Joseph grabs the receiver. Oh. Come in, come in. Is anyone there? Why do you do that? Uh, no. Over. What? <laughs> We're stranded out on open waters. We've been out here for hours. Please send help. Over. But wait. Are you guys gonna kiss? What? Huh? I mean, what are your coordinates? Over. Uh. Quincy, have you been leaning on the talk button this whole time? <laughs> I look down. Oh. Oh, I definitely have been leaning on the talk button. Betrayed by my own butt yet again! That's a good title. Betrayed by my own butt. I didn't lean on it, you leaned on it. <laughs> Neither of you are leaning... We're leaning on the talk button. We didn't hear anything. Over. <laughs> hey, were you listening to us? <laughs> Sir, we are here at the Coast Guard. We here at the Coast Guard are professionals. We were not doing that. <laughs> but as professionals, it seems like you deserve happiness. And we think it's closer than you think. Yeah. Mm. Um, over. Mm. How soon could you guys be here to give us a tow? Over. We'll, uh, pick you up in the morning. Sounds like you two have some stuff to hash out. What? Over and out. Ooh, cracker barrels. Wait! Hey? Cracker barrels. Silence. Nobody returns our radio calls. Hey. I think they left. We stare at each other for a second. Okay, well, now we know they're coming. <laughs> well. Joseph carefully places the receiver on the table, making sure the talk button isn't pressed in. <laughs> well, okay. Hey. Joseph grabs me by the shirt and pulls me into a kiss. His lips are soft and sweet from the wine, and his skin is still warm from the sun. I reach for his belt and pull him even closer, running my free hand under his shirt and up his side. That escalated quickly. He pushes me against the boat's console, kissing down my neck. Oh. Come on. His hands drift to my thighs, and he effortlessly picks me up. Wow. Joseph Daddy. carries me below deck. I'd be lying if I said I hadn't fantasized about this, but I didn't think he'd be so aggressive. Hmm. I've wanted to do this for so long. He throws me onto the bed. I let out a little yelp. Oh. Ah! Lots of time to kill, Quincy. We better get started. Quincy. Wow. Dot, 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 dot. Sating. Oh, man. I might have overdone it on the wine last night. Just a few more minutes of sleep will do just fine. Oh, what if it was all a dream? No. Wait. It's real! Yay! I open my eyes to find Joseph's face a few inches from mine and arm slung around my waist. He's sleeping peacefully. His hair is must and his lips still a little red. I think this is what I was talking about when we were discussing Margarita Zone. Finding a little perfect moments of joy, like the way the light falls across Joseph's face. Or how he's still holding me tight, even in his sleep. I do that. Hold on tight? Yeah, I'm like a little koala. <laughs> I'm very tempted to curl up closer to him and keep sleeping, but I know the Coast Guard will probably be here soon, and I'd like to be wearing clothes when that happens. I nudge Joseph. It takes a couple of shakes before he blearily opens his eyes. When he notices me hovering over him, he breaks into a huge grin. We should get dressed. Joseph pulls me in for a kiss. Do we have to... 
Another kiss. Stop trying to tempt me. Fine, fine. How do you feel about morning breath? I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you both have it? Yeah, I don't like it. Try not. I try not to blow it on anyone. I don't like it very much. <laughs> uh, and also, I need coffee pretty immediately upon waking. Mm. Which isn't very romantic. <laughs> it could be. If you wake up, you make a cup of coffee for yourself and for your whoever's staying over. Oh, yeah. Totally. I, I do that. Um. Yes, tell all your fans what it's like waking up <laughs> next to Mal Blum. <laughs> <laughs> I just mean it's not very romantic if, like, you know, because, like, if you wake up with somebody and they, like, want to have, like, moment in in like whatever like sweet moments in the morning which i'm really i'm very i really into but like you're like first we gotta do coffee like, okay yeah you know but <laughs> yeah anyway let's talk about this gay ass coast guard <laughs> 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 let me just get really hot in here <clears throat> the Love coast guard it. eventually shows up and tows us back to the bay they thankfully keep their comments to themselves Joseph and step off of the yacht. <laughs> <laughs> and he walks me say to I. my car. Hi, hey, uh, I had a great time. Me too. No thanks to the whales. Yeah. Shh, shh. You're on land now. They can't hurt you here. <laughs> Take care, Joseph. You too. Ooh, that's what he said. He gives me one last kiss on the lips before he turns around and walks back to his boat. Okay. Well, I've been gone an entire day. Hopefully Amanda is all right. <laughs> Amanda, I'm... Dad! Hmm. She runs up and hugs me. Hmm. I was genuinely concerned about your well-being, but upon closer inspection, you seem to be okay. What happened? Boat six. Yeah. The yacht ran out of gas and we got stuck. But it was okay because I was on a yacht. Hmm. Weren't you scared? Your father feels no fear. Were you able to take care of yourself for the night? <laughs> Yeah, just did a ton of drugs, vandalized a few cars, and then embezzled some funds from my school. All in all, pretty low-key night. Nice. Where'd you learn that from? <laughs> I learned it from you, Dad. Well, if you did, you would have funneled those funds through a legitimate cash and carry business, fudging the books over the course of years so you don't arouse suspicion from the feds. Rookie mistake, Panda. Uh. I'm glad you're back in one piece. Did you make good choices? No! <laughs> yeah. I think I did. But hey, I'm starving. Wanna make sandwiches out of whatever we can find in the fridge? Huh. More than anything, Pops. Run through the finisher finish line. Oh, that's what I've been doing wrong. You're trotting? Yacht. Hey! So much. Thank you so much. Hey. So now do we get to date other dads? You get to keep dating all the dads, right? Or what? what's the deal? I don't know. Let's see what happens now. What happens We finally next? got to some sex in this game. Finally. Finally. The sex has come back to Dream Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, I think I have everything finally set up. Amanda should be here any minute now. I think that's her car in the driveway. Okay, gotta act natural. Be cool, Quincy, be cool. Amanda walks through the door with a suspicious look on her face. Hey, Dad. Off to a good start. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Something fishy. Rats. What, no? You asked too many questions. Sorry, sweetie. It's the feds. <laughs> what? I don't know. What do you think? I'll say what? No. I, uh, I had a crab cake sandwich for lunch. That's probably it. You're allergic to shellfish. Oh. Oh, no. I forgot again dad oh gosh i'm gonna be sick what have i done i'm kidding you're right i have a little surprise for you <gasps> yeah i can tell you're very bad at lying amanda my dear would you care to join me in the kitchen father it would be it would fill it would be fill my heart with glee i'm pretty <laughs> sure that b is not supposed to be there Lead Amanda over to the kitchen table where a present lies covered under a tablecloth. Something special, but I wanted to get you a little something. Is it a car? I graduated high school last week, and I know you told me not to make a big deal about it, but... 
Aw, oh, Dad, you... I dramatically whip the cloth off the table. Amanda's jaw drops. Yes. No way! I figure you probably won't be able to get a cable in the dorm, so I thought it might be nice to take a piece of home with you. A DVD box set of long-haul paranormal ice road ghost truckers. Aww. This is all 19 seasons! And bonus material, including commentary with actual ghosts featured on the show. <laughs> Dad, I love this. Thank you! She gives me a big hug. I'm glad you like it. Hey, you want to hang out with me in the backyard for a bit? Toss the old pigskin or something? Totally. Follow me to the back door. Oh, Aww, Whoa. it's a graduation party. Oh, shit. What? You told me not to make a big deal, but you seem to have forgotten that my entire mission in life is to make a big deal out of your accomplishments. So consider this your graduation party. Surprise! With all the hot dads in the neighborhood. Yeah, all my friends. <laughs> yeah. None of your friends. Yeah. Dad, everyone's here. Aw, he's looking at her. Oh yeah. Yeah, how come he's the only one looking at her? It's kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know. Well, yeah, everyone wanted to come and support you. Just not any of your friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Is that a mac and cheese bar? Sure is. Fully customizable. Down to the type of mac. And there's an ice cream cake, the good kind with the crunchies in the middle. Oh, that is a good kind. Yeah. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Just go have fun with your pals, all right? I'm so proud of you, Amanda. Amanda smiles and runs to her friends. Oh, her friends are there. Okay. I should make the rounds and make sure everyone's having a good time. But first, mac and cheese. Oh, no. Mary's here. <laughs> With everything that's happened between me and Joseph, I should be a good host and say hi to her. But I don't wanna... Come on, Quincy. You can do this. I walk up to Mary. Give it a rest, buddy. Hey! Give it a rest, buddy. Hey. You been good? Just peachy. Peachy fucking keen. I have to go over there now. That went about as well as I could have expected it to. Quincy! Brian, you made it. Uh. Ha! I don't pass up on good Mac. What do you think of the party? Oh. It's not bad. Oh. Just not bad? Oh. Yeah, it's not bad. Don't let him bait you. Don't let him bait you. Why would you ask him what he thinks? Hmm. Thank you for the lovely compliment. Daisy trots up. Hi, Amanda's dad. Hey, Brian's daughter. See? See how that feels? Wow. This is a really great party. Thanks so much for inviting us. You're very welcome, tiny child who knows how to pay a compliment. Brian and I lock eyes. This isn't over. <laughs> hey, bro. Bro. Mm -hmm. This is a real rager. <laughs> Taking our older age into consideration. I'm trying to be in bed at a reasonable hour tonight. Don't let me get too wild. Nice. Don't worry, dude. I'll keep an eye on your fruit punch intake. <laughs> you know, I'm really glad we're bros again. Aw. Me too, dude. Briar and Hazel peek out from behind Gra Craig. Hi, little ones. Hello. Hiya. Thank you for all that ice cream cake. Oh. Wait, girls. How much of that did you eat? Briar ate four pieces. Ask any witness it. Any witness. No, I didn't. Hazel ate four pieces and wants to pin it on me because we look alike. I have your face. Nobody will ever believe you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I'll let you guys figure this out. Good seeing you, Craig. Let's hang soon, yeah? Hey. Totally. Tell Amanda congrats for us. Hugo comes up to me with a plate of mac and cheese. Ah. Ah, huh. the perfect cheddar to mac ratio. Beautiful work, Quincy. Thanks, Hugo. You know, I'm really pleased to see Amanda go to her dream school. I'm glad she turned it around for finals. Me, me too. too. Oh, sorry. <laughs> me too, me too. That scholarship money will really help. Amanda walks by and pretends. <laughs> that was funny. Because she actually did it? Because it went by really fast, yeah. Pretends to not see Hugo. Amanda, come say hi to your old teacher. Huh. Hey, congratulations on graduating. I know you're going to do great things at art school. Pew pew. Pew pew. Yeah, haha, -ha, yeah, thanks. 
Amanda starts to back away. Wait, I just realized that you're not my teacher anymore, so I don't have to be afraid of talking to you. Ha! <laughs> you no longer hold power over me. Oh. You're right. Go forth, adult. I can no longer give you detention. Yeah, I'm gonna break anything I want and there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, are you still mad about that time I gave you detention for breaking my globe? Huh. Nope. Ah. And I'll have you know that the globe didn't even fit through the basketball hoop in the first place. So... <laughs> she'll fit in college just fine. Into college. Hey. Ugh. Sure. <laughs> Robert. Hey. <sighs> Robert gestures vaguely to the snack table. <sighs> Good stuff. See you later. Hey. <laughs> hey, man. Matt. Matt. Let me know when Amanda leaves for college. I'll have a fresh batch of banana bread Kennedys ready for her. Thank you. I know she'll love that. <clears throat> what a splendid garden party. My deepest thanks for extending an invitation to my son and I. This ice box, this ice box cake is divine. Yeah, thanks, dude. Good cake. Thanks for coming by. Wow, everyone. That's everyone. The sun is setting and everyone seems to eat in their fill. As the party starts to wind down, I take a seat next to Joseph. Aw, what a beautiful tree. Aw. Joseph, it's so great to see you again. Great party. I should have you organize our next youth group mixer. My dance skills are ready whenever you need them. Hey, if you aren't busy this weekend, I was thinking we could maybe catch a movie or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that sounds like it would be fun. This feels weird. It doesn't feel like it did on the yacht. No. So, uh, I guess things are so friendly with Mary? Yeah. yeah I want to talk to you about that. <gasps> Uh-oh. Joseph sighs. Yeah. We talked, and we talked for a long time, and there was some yelling and some crying, but ultimately, there was reconciliation. No. I'm sorry, Quincy. I have to make this work with Mary. Oh. Hmm. I know, I shouldn't have. I didn't mean to hurt you, and I'm really sorry you got caught up in all this. I've just felt so alone lately, and I'm not even sure I'm doing the right thing here. You are not doing the right thing. Oh. You've come to mean so much to me, and I'll never forget all of those beautiful moments we shared together. But I have to thank you. In a way, this whole thing with you helped me realize that I still love my wife very much. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. I know this probably isn't what you wanted to hear, and I'm sorry if you were hoping for something different. But this is where my life is, and I need to do right by my family. But hey. Joseph squeezes my hand. Yeah. We'll always have Margarita's own. Joseph stands up. Oh. Take care, Quincy. You too, Joseph. Joseph walks off. <sighs> I... Man, did I do something wrong? Was there another way this could have ended if I had done things differently? I walk over to the half-melted remnants of the ice cream cake and shove a forkful into my mouth. This ice cream cake is my new boyfriend. The last guests begin to make their way out of the party. Amanda wanders over and sits down next to me. Killer par party, Pops. What can I say? I was inspired. So... I, uh... I also have something for you. <laughs> for me? Why? Not to be completely genuine about my feelings for once or anything, but... Huh. Growing up wasn't easy, but it could have been a lot harder if it wasn't for you. Baby. Dad, you've been there for me through everything. There's there's been times in my life where you were on you were my only friend. Hmm. I was really scared of going to college and being so far away from you, but I realized that everything you've done for me has been to prepare me for this and I'm ready. I wouldn't be who I am today without you. Don't cry, don't cry. I swear to God, Quincy, if you cry again. You're the best, Dad. I love you. And I'm crying. <laughs> anyway, that was enough emotional vulnerability for one day. <laughs> Present time! <laughs> Amanda hands me a tiny wrapped package. I tear the wrapping off to find... A framed picture of me and Amanda. It's... us. Hmm. Kinda shocking all of our photo albums are just pictures of me, huh? I figure we needed at least one together before I leave. Amanda... Thank you. Watching you grow up has been the happiest experience of my life. You're such a talented, intelligent young woman, and I'm so excited to see what the future holds for you. Knock them dead, kid. Nah. Always do. 
Amanda and I share a hug. This is the this is only the beginning, Pops. Plenty more memories for us down the road. Memories to make and stuff to break, right? Aww. Oh, I'm gonna break so much stuff, intentionally and unintentionally. You're probably gonna have to pay for most of it. It would be my honor. Amanda and I wave bye to the partygoers as they leave. We sit together and watch the sun slowly dip below the horizon. I'm glad you made some friends. Yeah. Hm. I know that's maybe not what you were looking for, but these people care about you. Ah. I love you, Dad. We'll always have each other. It's true. You're right. It's gonna be hard at first, but this is the next chapter in our story. And I'll be nervous about it, but I know that you're always gonna be looking out for me the same way I'll always be looking out for you. We got this. Team Dixblum. <laughs> That's our team. Tis us. Team Dixblum. What happens now? It's like you... It's and over! That's the end of Dream Daddy! Wow. So... What are like the outcomes? Sorry. What are like the outcomes of this game? Can you end up? Can you actually end up with one of them, or is it always like? I mean, you I end up with her, with your daughter. Well, I, I'm sure there's like multiple endings depending on your choices. Um, we didn't make the right choices, I guess, to end up with what's his name? Should've Joseph. Should've gone with Matt. You know what? It worked out the way it should. And we got to have sex on a boat. Yeah, I mean, we still had a good time. Finally got laid. Also, like, that's not gonna work out with Mary. No. <laughs> no offense, Joseph, but no. <laughs> wow. Wow. We did it, finally. The end of an era. We really stretched this one out. But we did it. I wonder what we should do next. Maybe we should let them pick. What do you want to see us play? You should, uh... Drop it in the comments. Drop a thing in the comments. And, um... Thanks for <laughs> watching! Yeah, we really... Yeah, we really strung this one along. Um... Yeah. It was, it was good. It was fun. You know? It's no yearning. <laughs> Just kidding. That's funny. Cobalt songs. Yeah. Wait, why is that funny? Um, well, don't put this in the actual video, but that's a publishing company that I had a phone meeting with last week. <sighs> hey. My yawns are contagious. Mars. Edit that out. <laughs> hey, future <clears throat> Mars. What's up? Well? Hey, future Mars. You're gay. <laughs> Past Mars. You're gay. Hey. Winchester. And all of our dads. Aww. A game from Game Grumps. Game Grumps. Yep. Everybody loves a Game Grump. Well, that has been that. And... Oh, that's the picture! Aww. You're the best, Pops. That's, really cute. that's cute. I wonder if there's going to be a Dream Daddy sequel. That's going to be a man named Call It. Maybe. Whoa. What is that? <laughs> Wish you were here. Nice, nice. Alright. Let's see what else we got. Is that it? Yeah. Alright. Do what you love and the money will come. I don't think dads say that. <laughs> what dad says that? Hello? 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 Okay. Start. This is... The... I cannot believe that there's a version of this game where you end up with Brian. <laughs> that guy's the worst. He's... Yeah. And we did it! Yay! Okay. Bye-bye. We'll see you in the next gay game that we play. <laughs>